live today in the era of holism. In fact, we've been in the era of holism for approximately a hundred years, and what that means to us um, as ordinary uh, human beings, mortals, and therapists, and patients, and clients, is that we stand a chance of people uh, in, in the pr healing professions um, addressing us in our wholeness and our entirety, and not saying uh, your mental or your emotional faculties are not somehow impinged on by uh, physical, uh, spiritual and other aspects of your humanity. So holism is really important. Um, it has certainly pervaded uh, the field of counselling and psychotherapy. We tend to recognise emotional uh, states have a physical expression have uh, mental symptoms and so on and so on. We could say they are uh, continuous throughout the organism. In module two of the Sacred Attention Therapy Online Training, um, the whole person is the title. And the whole person, module two, is about wholeness and is about the contrasting states of um, splitness or dissociation or when as human beings we feel different voices and different parts inside ourselves and the kind of neurosis that that um, creates in us and in humanity as a whole. I won't go through the entire course to introduce you to it, I'll just, um, if I may, speak to you in two paragraphs from the course that are entitled Inner Revolution. With enormous admiration and respect for the pioneers of Western psychology, the gifted practitioners of psychotherapy, the group facilitators and visionaries, both practically and experientially healing and raising awareness over the last 100 years, in spite of all their work, we're still in dire need of an inner revolution. This revolution, rumoured for some 50 years now, if not longer, is in some ways quite straightforward. If human beings would stop and breathe, spend time in contemplation or meditation, appreciating life, cultivating a temperament of gratitude and reverence, peace and contentment, mutual tolerance, compassion, respect, and honouring life and its abundance in recognition of the divine that permeates all life and is the ultimate reality, consciousness itself. Just this would be enough. These practices, themes, and intentions would balance the inner realms of the individual and collectively and culturally transform the inner and outer worlds of humanity in tacit recognition of the truth that we create our reality. Thank you for listening. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to introduce Module 2 of the course. Mm.